Congratulations, we hit over 10,000 likes in my only four exercises you need to know in order to grow video that now has over 150,000 views, so thank you. Now as promised, in this video, I'm gonna show you two of the best ways to program those four exercises for building massive amounts of muscles with a minimalist program. Yo, Elliot! Can you really build massive amounts of muscle with only four exercises? Not only is this possible, but if you follow the principles in this video, you may gain more muscle mass than you've ever gained before with an elaborate programming. And if you don't believe me, then just give this minimalist approach a try. There's really no harm in trying something different, even if it's just for a little while. But first, a story. When I started out in strongman competitions almost 15 years ago, my coach, Tom Mitchell, told me that the best way to get stronger for strongman was to simply choose two exercises per workout and dominate those movements on the day. So for example, I might have a workout where I do stone loading and front squats only, or a workout where I do log clean and press and bench press only. Tom also believed in something called escalating density training, a phrase coined by strength coach Charles Staley. Escalating density training basically means you choose a weight for a particular exercise and commit to is getting as many reps as possible within a set period of time. For strongman training, this was great because not only do you need to be strong for strongman, but you also have to be conditioned. Density training makes you stronger with higher volume because strength is a skill. The extra repetitions ingrain the movements into your nervous system. The second variation of this program is using high intensity training principles popularized by bodybuilders Mike Menser and Dorian Yates. I found that nothing builds rock solid muscle faster than high intensity training. Where density training is great for building strength and conditioning through repetition, intensity training is great for building muscle through intense intensity. High intensity training only requires one set, though it be a brutal one, to failure. One example of how I've been using high intensity training with an exercise like the dip is doing weighted dips with a heavy dumbbell for five to eight reps. Then as soon as I'm done, using a lighter dumbbell and doing as many reps as I can after that. And then finally, dropping that dumbbell and doing as many reps as I can with my body weight. By the time this brutal drop set is done, the muscles are fried and don't require any more work to grow. So let's break these two methods down so that you can begin using them with our four exercises right away. So the first method we're gonna explore is escalating density training or EDT. We've broken it down into two workouts. Workout number one consists of front squats and dips. Workout number two, deadlifts and pull-ups. Here's how we go about it. You're gonna choose a weight for your front squat and for your dips that you know you can only do five to eight repetitions. Then you're gonna set a timer for 20 minutes. Then when the timer goes off, you're gonna do five reps of front squats, five sets of dips. You got to track your reps. So what you want to do is set up a page that has a T like that. And you're going to put front squats on one side, dips on the other. When you complete five reps, you write five and five. And then you repeat five and five. And you repeat five and five. If you get to the point where you can't do five, you write what you can. Three and two. Three and two. And you might even do one and one. The whole point is you go back and forth. You might even have five on one and four on the other. The point is you go back and forth for 20 minutes until you're completely done. Then you're gonna, you're gonna add up your score on each side. Five, 10, 15, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 22 is your score for your front squats and say 22 is your score for your dips. That score is super important. Along with keeping track of the weight that you're using, that score is gonna let you know what you gotta do for the next workout. So the following time, the next time you do workout number one, you set up everything the same, but your job is to beat that number. Number 22 needs to be 27, 30, whatever it is, you gotta beat 22. Otherwise, the density isn't escalating. The whole point of it being dense is to do more work within the same period of time. On workout number two, you're gonna do the same exact thing. You're gonna set up your cross, you got your deadlifts, and you got your pull-ups. Then you're gonna go and you're gonna do 
five and five of each. Make sure that you choose a weight that is intense enough that you can do between five and eight reps. And then you'll write it down. Five, eight, maybe. Five, seven, maybe. Five, six, four, six. So on and so on, so on and so forth, back and forth. Keep track of your score. Escalating density means you increase the density from workout to workout. Now let's talk about the frequency and the tempo. Two very important things because they're going to be different whether you're doing escalating density or high intensity training. My suggestion with regard to frequency is doing every other day, E-O-D. So that would mean Monday, I would do workout number one. Tuesday, I would take off. Wednesday, I'd do workout number two. Thursday, I would take off. After recording this video and while editing it, I realized that doing workout one, skipping a day, and workout two is probably not enough for most of the guys that are watching this video. So I would suggest that you try it this way. Do workout one and workout two during the same day. Then if you need to take a day off, you repeat the same workout two days later. Tempo is gonna be a little different than high intensity training because the tempo is a little higher. I would say a moderate tempo. Use a moderate tempo with these exercises. You don't wanna burn through them super fast like you're doing CrossFit, but you're not gonna do them as slowly as you're gonna do them when you do the high intensity training. So that's escalating density training using the only four exercises you need to know in order to grow. For more on escalating density training, look up Charles Staley. You might also be interested in trying out my sandbag density training program in the link down below. It's all about using escalating density training with nothing but a sandbag. The second variation of the only four exercises you need in order to gain mass is high intensity training. We've set this up so that it's just a one day training program. So you got pull ups, front squats, dips, and deadlifts all in that order. The way you're gonna approach it is beginning with pull ups, you're gonna choose a weight that you can only do eight to 12 reps for. So choose a dumbbell, latch it onto your bell, and bang out eight to 12 reps. Once you've pulled out your last rep and you can't do anymore, you drop the dumbbell, you take a lighter dumbbell, and then you do as many reps as you can again. Then you drop that dumbbell, maybe you only do body weight, and then you do as many reps as you can again. So essentially, you're doing three sets jammed into one with a drop set. That's what that symbol represents. The next exercise is front squat. For lower body, I like to choose a weight that allows you to go multiple repetitions rather than choosing weights that make you have to drop. So in other words, you're gonna choose a weight that you can only do 10 reps with, right? Say front squats, you choose 185. You're gonna do 10 reps because that's all you can do, but when you get to the 10th rep, you don't rack the bar. You take a few breaths, and then you do another rep. You take a breath or two, and another rep, and another rep, and another rep. You might have to take your time resting in between reps, but you never take that bar off of your shoulders and you keep going until you get to the 20th rep. Third exercise is dips. And we're gonna do it in the same fashion that we did the pull-ups. You're gonna choose a dumbbell or some sort of weight that you're gonna add to your body so that you can only do between eight and 12 repetitions. Once you've got your first set of eight to 12 repetitions and you can't do any more, you drop that dumbbell and you grab something a little bit lighter and you do it for one drop. Then you drop that dumbbell, maybe only use your body weight and you do a second drop. At that point, the muscle is completely fried. You shouldn't be able to do a single dip anymore. And then finally, with regard to deadlifts, we're gonna do it the very same way that we did the front squats. You're gonna choose a weight that you know you can do 10 reps with. Once you get that 10th rep, you're just gonna stand there, take a few breaths, and then go again. And then go again. You might have to stand there and rest in between reps, but the bottom line is, don't drop that bar till all 20 reps are done. As far as tempo is concerned, this requires slow repetitions. You don't wanna be banging these out as fast as you can. You wanna take your time. That way, you might not even have to use such a heavy weight. By going a little bit slower, you can use a little bit of a lighter weight and still get that high intensity. And then finally, with regard to the frequency, this is gonna make you super sore, so you gotta to listen to your body. My suggestion is to wait between three and seven days before repeating the same workout again. If by the third day or the fourth day you feel fresh, go for it. But if you feel like you need to rest longer, rest longer. You can also break this up into two different workouts, just like that. And that way on day one you can do this, and on day two you can do that. If you use this method, you might go Monday, Tuesday, 
rest for two or three days, and then go again and again. Or you could even try every other day, like with the escalating density trading program. So there you have it. The only four exercises you need to know in order to grow programming using escalating density, high intensity training. Both are amazing methods for building strength and muscle, and you don't need a lot of different exercises to do it. I suggest you give this a try. Maybe take a break from your regular training program and give this a go for a little while. Can't hurt to give something a try, and I think you might like it. Done.